It seems every day now there is a new video of officers having a bad interaction with the public. Most would agree not all cops are bad, but at this point, some people are just afraid of the police. So in order to turn that around, some departments, like here in Sherville, are doing what's called coffee with a cop. This event is just what the name says it is. Coffee with a cop, but minus the sirens and being pulled over. It's a chance to get to know the local cops. Officers here say they know the profession has a black eye right now because of a few bad apples, but they hope this program will change that perception. Just do your job like you're supposed to, properly, legally, and you won't have a problem. Yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable that way if I ever encounter them. Uh, um, I think it would make me feel a little bit more at ease. I think that it's a great idea that they're getting out to, to the public because I think a lot of people are afraid of them, you know, when um, they pull you over and uh, for a ticket, you know. And I think that uh, you should not be afraid of them. One thing we noticed, all the residents at this event were white. The negative incidents that have occurred with the police nationwide were mostly with people of color. And one of the things we do is, is, is track all of our, all of our arrests, our, our contacts with the public, our complaints against the police uh, for excessive force. Last year we had zero, okay? And I, and I think a lot of that is developing relationships in your community. When you go somewhere and go someone, they say, oh, I know that officer, I had coffee with him, or I know that officer, and it just creates a much better uh, situation, atmosphere, communication-wise. Eventually, this African-American couple arrived. They are not from Sherville, but they frequent the town. They think this program is a good idea. I, I appreciate the fact that they would want to reach out, you know, especially with everything that's been going on in the media and all the incidents that have been, you know, portrayed on the TV. I just appreciate the fact that he came over and, and, and spoke and extended his hand out. You know, that was, that was a good gesture in itself. But, uh, uh, well, I, I know quite a few police officers and I know Hammond, Gary, and other places. So I, mean, I understand that in every occupation you have some good and some bad. In Gary at Indiana University Northwest, they are holding a Coffee with a Cop event too. This time, the audience is mostly African American and young people. The reception here was good. Um, I know for a fact that there are some good guys out there and they're actually here for our safety and our protection and, our, and I respect the service that they do. From a citizen's point of view, I have a certain perspective, you know, about different roles that people play in our society, and this gave me a broadened perspective on cops. Indiana University Northwest Police Chief Patricia Nowak says they have done this program for several years, and it's also helped solve crimes. Then there were some issues that they had with some gang activity. Um, and so an emphasis were put on that, and some of, the, some of the problems were referred to Gary, and Gary's been very receptive. Community police officer Clifford Caldwell says this is not just a public relations program. Uh, people typically don't want to talk to the police when a crime happens, but when we do this, we build relationships, and we're able to solve a lot of crimes that way. And so when we build these relationships, whether it's Coffee with a Cop or the Citizens Academy, um, people are more forthcoming with information because they trust us, they know us, so there are some stats, and the third, crime around the campus is down 31% because of our efforts in the community. Officers we spoke to say they're trying to change minds little by little. They're moving towards a point where there's a better relationship between the community and the cops. In Gary, Stephen Lattimore, Lakeshore Report.